This is Desplays, and welcome back to Fallout 4 for another settlement build, this time at the Taffington Boathouse. This is a little settlement that I unlocked not that long ago, and is one of the reasons why I haven't had a video in a couple days, is because I know, and this is going to be shocking to most people, but I have actually been playing the game. As you can see from uh, my newest companion over there, in probably one of the most amazing looking pieces of uh, gear that you can get in the game. Unfortunately, Without mods, you can't put any armor pieces on top of that, but it uh, it looks almost as good as she does. Almost. That's Curie, by the way. And, alright, so the, this settlement really isn't all that big, but it does give me the opportunity to talk about how useful the precision mod is that I, was, that, uh, that I talked about in my previous video. Starting off with these lights right here. These are just normal light bulbs, which, using the mod, again, using the mod, I was just able to, you know, stick them on the roof in the back over there, then bring them over here and flip them upside down. Now, this would be possible without the mod, but it would be so much more difficult. This, I mean, it, it you can see it from the video, it really didn't take that long at all to do. And, um, yeah, like I said, almost everything here that you're, that you're seeing has been in some way manipulated using the uh, precision mod. These fences here to patch up some of the holes on the railing. Uh, of course the walls which were so so much easier to do with uh, with the mod. I mean like it this would have taken me so much longer without the mod. I mean I, it would have been possible and it wouldn't have been that hard because I've done it a lot now but the, 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 this just made the whole process so much easier and it actually made me notice something that I hadn't noticed before and I don't know why I haven't because it's fairly obvious but when you fit the when you fit the junk fences together and you put the posts either right next to each other or very close to each other there's a tire piece on one of the sides that makes it look like that is what's holding the wall together and I, I think that's just a little brilliant little detail and I don't know why the, the junk fences don't snap together on that point in you know in the normal game it would make sense that they would but they don't but you know so whatever and let's see what else is there so we have our little trading post over here it looks like people are just coming off duty right now and they were on duty a minute ago and normally we would use the mat trick for something like this but I did use the precision mod and look at how snug the sign is with the actual building I think that's just great. As well as it was really it was it was mo so much easier to fit everything in there with this, including the 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 wall separating the two. All right, let's see what else do we have to talk about. All right, so I suppose we should do a quick little tour of the place. This one was actually did not turn out the way that I was originally expecting it to do. Originally, I was going to have, you know, this whole area over here be a trading area as sort of like a, you know, a gate on that side, a gate on that side, this was going to be sort of a little trading post along the route to County Crossing, which is, I think is over in that direction. But as it, uh, as it evolved with, as like so many of my builds, things changed. And there was another consideration in this, actually, is that uh, one of my viewers wanted to see me build a settlement and stay inside the settlement lim limit without using uh, either the glitch to increase the settlement size or the bat settlement mod which would eliminate the settlement size so what you're seeing here is pretty close and you'll, I'll show you that in a, in a second but this all of this is within the settlement size limit and a quick note on that is if you are trying to stay inside the settlement size limit say you're on a console or something like that and you know because every piece that you can scrap in here counts towards every piece that you put down every piece that you can scrap counts towards your settlement size limit and if you're getting close to your settlement size limit you might want to take a look at the water because there are over here where I have this this water purifier there are a bunch of cinder blocks I think one or two cars that are underneath the water but within the settlement zone so you can get on get in the water and scrap them just make sure you take some rad X or a hazmat suit in there when you do because I think this water is either 5 or 10 radiation a second. It's it's uh, it's pretty nasty. So what else is there? The main interior of the house isn't really anything special. We do have a bar, of course. My settlements would not be complete without a bar. And I think I just went with a lot of sleeping bags for this. This 
stairs kind of screws things up. But uh, how do you like that ceiling? Hmm? This is another great example of how great the Precision Mod is. And let's suppose let's talk about that right now. Because the way that I did this was sort of a mix of the new and old techniques. Which the old technique being, uh, I think I talked about this in the, in the Sanctuary video, where you know I would get one tile into position, which I used the, the Precision Mod to do. Get it exactly where I wanted it. And then set the position of, or, you know, uh, got the position, or the Z position, which would be the height of that piece and wrote that down and then I moved then I changed the Z position so that it was up above the rest of the stuff here and then I snapped a bunch of floor, floor tiles to it so that it all be properly aligned and then I moved them back down to the original Z position so they would all be where they are now except they were not where they are now because there was a slight gap actually no there was an overhang over on this side and there was a slight gap over on this side now if I had been doing this the old way I would have said Eh, that's fine. I can live with it. That's going to take way too long to fix such a minor detail. But with the precision mod, all I had to do was take this floor tile, move it over uh, to the right, and figure out how many places I moved it. In this case, it was either five or six. I'm not sure. And so I moved that five places to the right, then I moved this one five places to the right, and then I moved this tile, which isn't here anymore because I put stairs in there over to the right and then that's all I had to do for the rest of them which is why they're still fit together exactly how, as uh, if they were snapped together and we don't have a gap so that whole thing or the, the mod just made this whole process so much easier if I did not have that there would be a gap here I would have I would have and that would have driven my OCD crazy <laughs> let's see so let's do we have our power building over here and this is actually this is actually the boathouse. There was a boat hanging in here, which you can scrap for some wood. And but what we've done is covered over again using the precision mod, uh, covered over, uh, put put these floor tiles in place exactly where we want them to be. These aren't actually snapped together. These were just moved, um, you know, using the precision tool, so that they they would look like they were snapped together and are flush with the floor. Which I mean, I I, I love the way this this turned out looking, and that allowed us to put these two generators in here and then run the wire outside through the window and that also keeps the noise down which is nice there it keeps the generators protected and keeps the noise down and I might make this sort of my workshop building I do have a little bit of room left and I could probably put like an armor workstation or something in there now one of the really cool things about this place or about this particular location and I need to drop out of free camera and turn on the menu for you to be able to see this. Oh, here's a nice little bonus. Despite the changes below, the constellations still shine bright. Thank you, Curie. She's great. She's she is rapidly taking Piper's position as my favorite companion. But don't tell Piper that. I have Piper over at Starlight right now, so you know she's none the wiser. But there's a super mutant camp. Uh, on the other side of the lake and every now and then one of them will pop I think I already killed him earlier so he hasn't come back but every now and then one of them will pop out and I get to take a little pot shot at him so that's fun I think we can also blow over the blow up that truck over there I might do that later but anyway this house is one of the very few existing structures that I found in the game which if you look down at the bottom uh, the cardinal direction indicator is aligned north, south, east, and west. And if you remember from me talking about fixing the roof in Sanctuary, that house is not. So it's not very easy to manipulate the angles to take a floor tile, say, and fix the roof. But here, because it is aligned that way, it it shouldn't be that hard. And I suppose we should we should do that now. So for this, all we need to do, again, we have the precision mod on, just raise it up, move it over to the east a little bit, and that's going to be the X angle. So we want to change the X angle, move it like that, then move it to the south, and we probably want to bring it back a little bit this way. 
raise it up some. And back that away. Now that's close, but it ain't perfect. So we need to manipulate it some more. Okay, that's almost there. That's too far. So we switch to smooth mode. And there we go. That looks like a fixed roof to me, don't you think? Now, I was I was originally going to do this, but if I figured if I did that, uh, I wouldn't be able to put the, the ceiling here and have this nice sort of balcony area with my, my shooting balcony of doom. Or this guard post up here, which the guard actually has a little bit of trouble getting up these stairs, so un unless I fast travel in, they usually have a little bit of trouble getting up here. Actually, what <laughs> there's something you could do, and this is actually what I did to get the first guard up there, is... Let's see, if we select them, let's get out of smooth mode. We could actually move them up there. <laughs> and I suppose we need to get her over to the south a bit. Yeah, there she goes. A little bit, little bit further south, lady. Ah, oh, crap, now I'm stuck in here. Okay. If you work... You eat. It's as simple as that. Ma'am, you need to be on duty, ma'am. We're not we're not done moving you around yet. Uh, let's move you up a little bit more. And move you over to your uh position. <laughs> so yeah, that's one way to get people up where they uh where they really shouldn't be. Matt, yeah, like I said, I have seen Curie could actually do this. For some reason, these uh, these normal settlers can't. Hey, there we go. Now she's on duty. But yeah, Curie can do this. Normal settlers can't for some reason. But uh, yeah, so there's that. So anyways, I think that is everything that I wanted to talk about here. Oh, yeah, so let's uh, let me show you the settlement size. If you look over at the top right of your screen, you can see that I am, I can put some more stuff down here, but there, I really don't have a whole lot of room left. And I think if I had done the roof, this would have required quite a few more floor tiles than what I actually have just for the ceiling. So I would be a lot closer to it. That was the other reason I decided not to do it. But, yeah, this is the settlement of Taffington Boathouse. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for my next one. Uh, I do like kind of like the idea uh, that was suggested of staying inside the settlement size limit. Like, of course, it's fun to build massive things. And like I've said before, I am working on some massive stuff, which, again, is going to be a lot longer till you actually see that. But I do like the idea of of staying inside the the settlement size limit, which is which is what we did here. And I think somebody requested to see, I think it's Sunshine Tidings Co-op. I'm not sure what it is. It's it's the co-op place. And I've also got Jamaica Plain and Croup Manor unlocked, which I uh, just got those yesterday. So there might be some more small settlements that I work on before I get back to the super massive things. But if you have any questions or suggestions or stuff that you'd like to see, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. And... I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you come back for the next one. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.